Hi! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the area of the region bounded by curves. Okay, so let's start now. So the area of the region bounded by curves. So let's uh, say, um, ito yung plane natin, tapos let's say we have the function f of x, so this is y here. And then we have um, the lines that pass through these points, let's say x sub 0 and x sub n, tapos meron tayong line dyan. So the fundamental question in this video is that we are interested to find the area of the region bounded by this curve, these two lines, and this x-axis. Yan. So, how do we do that? So, considering the fact that this is a closed interval AB, we can partition this region in such a way that meron tayong your x sub 0 is equal to A, and then uh, x sub n equals B. So, ito yung closed interval AB natin. So, your x sub 0 in this case will be less than x sub 1, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2, and so on, until it's less than x sub n minus 1, and then x sub n minus 1 is less than x sub n, and which x sub n is equal to b. So, let us say, for example, we pick a in sub-interval here. Yung sub-interval mo naman dito is x sub i minus 1 and x sub i. So, from this sub-interval, we pick an element, let's say, psi sub i. Okay. So, by this, we construct a rectangular part of the region. So, a rectangular region, sub-region, kumbaga, in such a way that yung dito, yung length niya, is mangyayari is meron na tayong f of psi sub i. Yan. And then, the width of this rectangle, of course, will be the change of the x with respect to i. So, kumbaga, we have the x sub i minus x sub i minus 1. Yan. Kasi di ba ito yung length niya. So, ganun. I'm sorry, it's the width. Okay. So, remember in our high school geometry that the area of a rectangular region is given by length times width. So, yung length natin dito is f of psi sub i. Yan. And our width, in this case, will be the x sub i minus x sub i minus 1. Square units, of course. That's the area. So, ito. Okay. So, kung iisipin mo, you are actually partitioning this region. So, ibig sabihin, marami tayong rectangle na ginagawa dito to partition the entire region. So, that means to say that uh, with respect to the index i, yung sum... S sub n, which is technically the area of the region, is given by delta sub i a plus delta sub 2 a and so on until delta sub n a. So, kumbaga, we have this um, rectangle representing this, another this one, and that one. And if you take the sum of this, so ang mayayari, this is equal to, di ba yung a natin is given by that? So, we have the summation of f of psi sub i um, delta sub i x and your i ranges from 1 to n. So, ibig sabihin, n partitions of your area. Okay. So, ano yung implication dito? Implication lang naman dito, di ba, is kung titingnan mong maigi, uh, remember that yung d mo, so as the norm of d, uh, approaches to zero. So, ibig sabihin yung di ba yung norm na ini, tinatawag natin dito is actually the how how is the length, of course, is the length of the interval. So, kung papaliitin mo masyado yung interval mo, so, ibig sabihin liliit yung width ng rectangle. So, the, the closer to zero, the width of the rectangle is mas magiging super approximate kumbaga, quote-unquote, super approximate yung area. Kasi we're actually approximating. This is a curve, eh. So, we cannot uh, exactly form a rectangle. So, parang nag-estimate lang tayo. So, the thinner your rectangle is, ang mangyayari dito, 
mas magiging accurate. I mean, mas ma- mas malapit yung approximation mo compared to ha- to having the bigger rectangle version. So the point here in this case is that diba yung if you take the limit of this kasi nga your purpose is to take the limit para mas super accurate yung um, approximation mo ng area of the region. So yan, um the sum of f of psi sub i um x sub i minus x sub i minus 1 i from 1 to n. So, as the norm of the approaches to 0, di ba ito yung approximate ng area of the region? So, mas magiging super approximate talaga siya. And remember, this one here, this is technically equal to, di ba, yun yung integral ng f of x dx um, ranges from a to b. Kasi nandun siya sa loob ng interval. So, ibig sabihin, if we take the integral pala of the curve that bounds on the um, area of the region, then that's actually the area. Okay, let's consider this for example. Find the area of the region bounded by y equals x squared, the line x equals negative 3, and the x-axis. So, paano natin yan gagawin? Um, una natin gagawin muna is we have to make sure that we can drop the sketch of this curve here. So, paplot muna natin yan. Yung y equals x squared, this is parabola that opens up, diba? And then, the vertex is located at the origin. So, ibig sabihin pa ganito, yung vertex niya. And then, it goes up. So, kunyari ganyan. Kunyari, ang ganda ng drawing ko na perfect ko yun. And then, the line x equals negative 3. So, somewhere here is x equals negative 3. So, pag anon yung line mo. Yan. And the x-axis. So, bali, ito yung region mo. So, ito pala siya. Yan. So, in order for you to do that, you are actually constructing your ma rectangular strip here. Okay. So, that means to say, you have the interval, let's say, x sub i minus 1. And then, you have the x sub i here. So, ang mangyayari, this becomes your psi sub i. Yan. And, of course, this point here is the location of the point psi sub i times psi sub i squared. Kasi, di ba, um, if this is your x here, then a y will be the square of your x. Yan. Okay, so this will be your y equals x squared. Okay. So, ano yung message ng um, problem na ito? So, therefore, if you are looking for the area of the region, um, this is actually taking the limit of the sum of f of psi sub i. Um, that is the delta of x with respect to i. So, your i ranges from 1 to n. Tapos, papaliitin mo yung norm ni d. Okay. Kasi yun naman talaga yung goal natin. And then, again, this is equivalent to getting the integral. So, ang mangyayari dito, kasi yung, in, yung curve na nakabound sa taas ng x-axis mo is the f of x. So, that's f of x dx is inside on the interval negative 3 to 0. Yan. So, this is negative 3 to 0. Your f of x is x squared, tama? So, x squared dx. So, taking the integral, you have x cubed over 3 evaluated from negative 3 to 0. So, therefore, the answer here is 0 minus negative 3 cubed over 3. So, the answer now will be 9. So, 9 squared units. So, therefore, this is the area of the region. That's it. Okay, another example. Find the area of the region bounded by y squared equals x minus 1 and y equals 3 minus x. So, in this case, yung bound naman niya is hindi na talaga nag -re rely on the x-axis. So, how do we do that? Mas mabuti siguro we have to drop the uh, sketch muna dito. 
uh, paano ba to? What is, kunyari ah, yung drawing ko ganito, perfectly fine. So, yung y squared equals x minus 1, ni ba, ano to siya? This is a parabola that opens to uh, the right. Tama? Kasi of this format, y squared equals x minus 1. So, yung vertex natin dito is uh, 0, 1. So, I'm sorry, 1, 0. So, dito siya. So, kunyari ito ang 1, 0. Length of the lattice rectum here is 1. So, tigwa 1 fourth lang yung um, ano siya, bukanan niya. Tapos, yung focus mo is located in uh, 1 and 1 fourth. So, mga somewhere here. And then, mga kunyari ito yun siya. So, mga ganito lang siguro. Paganon. Okay. Yan. Kunyari, perfect yung drawing ko. Pasensya na. Okay. And then, yung ano naman, yung line naman na 3 minus x. So, when x is 0, y is 3. So, somewhere here. When y is 0, x is 3 din. So, mga dito. Hindi ko lang alam ha kung perfect yung pagkakadrawing ko nito. Pero, basta, yan na yan. And then, so, since the question here is the area of the region bounded by this curve, so, ito pala yung hinahanap natin. Yan. So, parang irregular shape na talaga siya, ano. So, how can we do this? Remember kasi, di ba kung nakikita mo kanina, uh, for the, from the previous example, yung rectangle natin is, di ba, that's vertical strip. So, pwede naman natin siya pahigain. Let's say, ganito siya. Ganito yung pagpapahiga natin ng rectangle niya. So, ibig sabihin, um, iba na yung length niya, iba na yung width. Pero, let's get muna what's the intersection point of this para naman mas klaro. So, the intersection here is, okay, let's get the intersection here. So, we have uh, y squared equals x minus 1, y equals 3 minus x. Nakadraft lang to ha. So, this is not formally um, sold. Kung isa-substitute ko to, magiging 3 minus x squared equals x minus 1. Tama ba? And then, this will be 9 minus 6x plus x squared equals x minus 1. And so, rearranging, I'll get x squared Minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. So, my factor is x minus 5 and x minus 2. So, therefore, x equals 5 and x equals 2. So, when x is 5, equivalently here, your y is negative 2. When x is 2, your y is 1. So, therefore, the intersections are uh, 5, negative 2, and uh, 2, 1. So, 5, negative 2. So, somewhere here is 5, negative 2. And then, somewhere here is 2, 1. So, sensya na kung hindi siya na, talaga nagkatapat. Ang pangit kasi ng pagkakadrawing. Uh, pagka okay? And, basta yun na yun. And then, so, anong gagawin natin dito in this information? So, let's take down the area. So, area of the region. Di ba nakahiga yung strip natin? So, this will be um, the sum of... Kasi nga, nakahiga siya. So, since nakahiga nga siya, so parang ganun. Yung, yung width natin dito, ng um, width natin dito ng rectangle dyan is, di ba that's the change? Pahiga kasi siya. So, naging um, the change of y. Ganyan. And then, yung length naman natin ni rectangle is starting from paganon The upper, which is uh, 3 minus psi sub i. Ganyan. Minus, of course, dito sa baba naman, we have the psi sub i squared plus 1. And uh, multiply by the width. Ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, if we take the 
limit of the norm here approaches zero. So, of course, yung i mo is ranges from 1 to n, ha? So, ang mangyayari dito, this is the integral of uh, 3 minus y. Okay? Kasi ito yung nakabound mo, eh. Yan. Which is the line. 3 minus y. Okay, by the way, um, bina, pinahiga kasi natin dito, so that means our variable is with respect to y. So, that is y um, given from the problem of y equals 3 minus x. So, we're solving for x. So, that's x equals 3 minus y. Okay. So, mangyayari 3 minus y. And then, sa kabila naman is yung curve mong y squared equals x minus 1. So, solving for x, you have x equals y squared plus 1. So, that means yung, ito yung upper mo minus the lower which is y squared plus 1 dy. Kasi ito yung change of y mo. So, this means to say, saan yung interval mo nanggagaling? So, that means, yung interval mo is starting from negative 2, kasi negative 2 yung y mo, going to the interval 1. So, this is negative 2 to 1. Okay. So, how do we solve that? Dali na lang to. Uh, we can have the Integral of negative 2 to 1 interval. If we simplify this, we would get negative y squared minus y plus 2 dy. And so, uh, integrating, we will have negative y cubed over 3 minus y squared over 2 plus 2y. Evaluated from negative 2 to 1. So, substituting this time, so maging 1 third minus 1 third minus 1 half plus 2 minus the quantity of magiging positive yan, so 8 over 3. And then magiging negative, so that means we have 4 over 2. Minus 4. So, kayo nang bahalang mag-compute. I think I got 9 over 2. Correct me if I'm wrong lang. Squared unit. So, this is now the area of the region. So, if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so we can discuss on that. Okay, that's all for now guys so thank you so much for watching so if you have any questions or clarifications you can comment down there so that i would know and we can discuss on that and um that's all for now have a great day bye